Let's work with the left hand side and convert tan theta into sine and cos. We remember tan equals sine over cos. So how would we do that? So we turn it into sine over cos. Perfect. So this becomes sine over cos. And remember, when we have a fraction in the denominator, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll show the work here. So the reciprocal of sine over cos is cos over sine. Simplifying this, we have sine theta plus cos squared theta over sine theta. So we have two terms. Let's try to make one term. So we'll make a common denominator. So multiply the top and the bottom by sine theta, which would give us sine squared theta over sine theta. Top becomes one? Yeah. So we can see that the top, the numerator, when we have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, is an identity. The sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. This equals one. So we could replace that with one. We could do the right side, although we could keep going with the left side using this identity. So remembering the Remembering this identity we looked at already, if we isolate for sine, sine theta equals tan theta times cos theta, or cos theta times tan theta. And so we can substitute this into the denominator here. And you can see this would give us our right hand side. It's good. Therefore, our left side now equals our right side. We could state that. I'm not too big into stating this. Should state this on test.